Thank you all for being here. Um, this felt like a really wonderful and fitting moment uh, to gather um, for this event, for this kickoff with uh, Simchat Torah just a couple of days behind us and with Parshat Breshit, uh, Shabbat Breshit um, just before us. Uh, we're preparing, of course, this Shabbat uh, to read once again from the very first words of the Torah scroll. Breshit bara elokim et hashamayim ve'at ha'aretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In other words, here we go again. Um, and in other words, uh, we are all always beginning. So um, I wanted to share just briefly, I started the day, I had the joy and privilege of starting the day today, early this morning, with a group of Jewish educators from Amsterdam who have come to Boston for a week of professional development as part of our Matarot program at Hebrew College. Um, and the educators themselves were uh, a, ranged fr from age 14 to 58. Um, uh, yep, <laughs> you heard correctly. The youngest in the group were a couple of young 14-year-olds. Um, serious, delightful young people uh, wanting to deepen their work as Jewish educators. Um, so I have to tell you as an aside, if you're ever feeling a little bit hopeless about the Jewish future, just give me a call. You can come spend the day sort of following me around through my job, and I promise you'll feel better. Um, anyway, we spent some time this morning uh, looking at a range of rabbinic texts reflecting on the question, why does the Torah start with the letter bet? Um, second letter of the alphabet. Why not, after all, Aleph, the first letter of the alphabet? Or for that matter, um, why not any of the other letters? I personally love the fact that in some of the Midrashim, the other letters get jealous, makes me feel better about myself. Anyway, the range of answers um, offered by the Midrashim that we looked at was stunningly wide. And of course, we just barely scratched the surface. Um, some of them look at the shape of the letter itself. Uh, it's closed on three sides and open only on one side with that side facing forward to teach us uh, don't spend too much time looking up, don't spend too much time looking down, don't spend too much time looking backwards. In other words, don't dwell on what's in the heavens, don't dwell in, on what's in the depths, don't dwell on what, in what is back before the beginning of the beginning before creation itself, focus on this world and on your deeds in this world. Um, others looked at the numerical equivalent of bet, of the letter bet, which is the number two, um, suggesting two kinds of awe, the kind based in fear, the kind based in wonder, um, or two worlds that we should keep in mind, this world and the world to come. Others looked at words beginning with the letter bet. Uh, so the word bracha meaning blessing. And that particular midrash teaches that the bet of Breshit is there to remind us that God wanted to create the world in blessing. Um, or bait, another one says, no, 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 it's about bait meaning home. Uh, and that the bet of Breshit is there to remind us that the world is our home and God is the world's home. So here's what I want to emphasize for tonight, um, that we are inheritors in and of um, an interpretive tradition that is so richly, exuberantly creative that there are countless commentaries on just the first letter of the Torah itself. Uh, multiply that by every verse, every word, every letter of the Torah, and you have a vast universe of possibilities um, to both anchor and challenge us. The different voices heard, the different questions asked, the different points of view preserved and put into dialogue with one another are all part 
of course, of what is meant by Shivim Panim La Torah, um, that there are infinite facets to every word and letter of Torah, which brings us to the teaching from Ben Bag, Bag uh, from Pirkei Avot that gave us our title for this evening's session. Um, turn it and turn it. Hafochba, hafochba, dekulaba. Turn it and turn it again for everything is in it. Um, whether we're new to the world of Jewish study or have been engaged in it for decades um, or for our entire lives, we are asked to come to it new um, with fresh eyes, with open minds, ready to discover something in the text or something in ourselves that we've never noticed before um, or that we've forgotten and need to learn and learn again, since we know that's true with the most important things. So, and we do all of this together in Chebruta, with friends, in community, in relationship, because we're taught Eina Torah Niknet Ela Bachavura, that Torah can only be acquired in community. We need to listen across the generations. We need to listen across differences in our own generation for the fullness of Torah to unfold and for our own hearts to open. Um, in that spirit, I want to leave you actually with one more interpretation of that first bet of the Torah, um, which is that it is to be read together with the very last letter of the entire Torah, which is the Lamed of the word Yisrael, the Lamed of the word Israel. Um, and together that Lamed from the very end of the scroll and the bet from the very beginning of the scroll form the letter, form the word lev, which means heart, um, and reminds us that this whole thing is about the opening of the heart. <laughs>